guys, it's William Congreve here, and, um, oh, I'm in the update, aren't I? Okay, guys, uh, this is William Congreve. I will be back in a second. Well, actually, I'm lazy, so I won't even bother to close the screen recording. I'll just go right ahead and just keep recording right through this. Uh, Alright. So, anyways, um, hey, I've done, uh, I haven't been uploading too much recently, uh, sorry about that, I just realized you couldn't see because I had it in full screen mode, um, I haven't been uploading too much recently, and I think that that's probably caused partially by school, partially by other things. But the end result is that, yeah, I haven't been uploading recently. So, uh, and then what I did upload recently uh, was just uh, redstone videos and an animation. So I haven't sort of had enough just sort of good old funny let's play adventure map, parkour map, minigame stuff on my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do another one of my Let's Play videos. Uh, now if memory serves, I've upgraded to an iron door so that zombies will not be able to get into my house. And I'm growing cocoa beans. And I have a sort of smallish mine this way. And off of that mine is a farm. Alright, so memory serves. That's fantastic. Um... And, uh, and the cocoa beans are burned, that's also good. Uh, so let's go ahead and just do a little farming for now, because I know how fun it is for you guys to just watch me walk around and farm stuff. I mean, that's the highlight of your day. Uh, uh, not going to actually use these in cookies or anything, just using them to make the room aesthetically balanced. There we go. Seeing as I've got extras, maybe I'll make some food with them or something, but, you know. Being able to eat comes second to art. You know, I bet there are people who would actually sort of say that without it being a joke. Um, if you're one of those people, I respectfully disagree with your opinion. And I think you're a nut job. But uh, I very respectfully think that you're a nut job. That's gonna, this entire clip is going to get me in trouble later, isn't it? Um, we'll just say I was under duress when I said these things or something. I, I mean, there are zombies right outside my house. I'm making poor jokes, aren't I? These are not very good jokes. Uh, I should probably go mining during the day because I want sort of to have more resources and stuff. And my cocoa beans are growing, but I don't really need to harvest them yet. So I guess I'll just stay here during the night. Um... Well, I suppose I could go mining. Uh, or I could go hunting. I do have a bed here, so it won't be so bad if I die. Let's try that. Let's go hunting. Looking to see if I have anything I could use for armor. Alright. Into the beach. <laughs> I totally had that under control. Um, there, that, that all went as planned. You can't prove it didn't. Man, I'm going hungry fast. I'm gonna need more wheat to keep my hunger, let alone to have cows or anything. I wonder how long it is until sunrise. My roof is a secure area, right? Yep, my roof is safe. Oh good, the sun's rising right away. So I can probably head out there and collect some zombie meat or something from all the burning zombies. Okay, so... Oh god! Go grief! Good grief! 
Yes, good grief. That was totally what I was planning to say at the beginning of that statement. What the? He's a god. He just punched somebody through solid material. He, he like, shot a wave of disrupting particles at me. I've discovered the new way to hunt zombies. Oh god, he's in. He's in. My fortress has been reached. Containment breach! Containment breach! Alert level red! Alert level red! Alert level red! I'm beating him to death with a small tree! Which is actually more effective than you would think. Now, how to to collect my experience and my sword. Where's my experience? Where did my sword go? If I punch this guy, I'll get some experience and start killing him. As long as he doesn't uh, kill me in the meantime. I think I'll walk away now. Oh, he died. Excellent. Ooh. Well, that's handy. And there's my sword. And there's a spider. Hmm, not quite sure where the spider was, though. I'll head back inside, get some gear, and possibly start mining. Oh, hey, I've got some wheat saved up here. Sandy. Let's grab uh, two pickaxes, a sword, grab my spade just in case, grab some cobblestone and dirt so that I can build stuff. I'll save my iron because I don't really need to use it. I can keep those because they're sort of, I don't know, more precious, valuable, whatever. <coughs> yep, yep, all that good stuff. Alright. I'm torn between heading out to look for cows or heading out to mine. Hmm. I have a pig. Let's do a little mining and then maybe find some cows. Alright, that's enough mining for today. Time to go look for cows. Hmm. I'll just head this way. Cows spawn in a... Take a biomes, right? Well, I'm wondering if I bought enough cookies. My health is draining really fast. Hmm. Once I get down to like five cookies, I'll have to head back so that I don't starve to death with my stuff. Maybe I should stop running to conserve energy. Lots of pigs, but no cows. Maybe I should go mining, where at least I know I'll, I'm guaranteed to get stuff then. I should have bought an iron pickaxe in case I find something like diamonds. It would be so annoying to find diamonds, but not be able to extract them. This is just the most thrilling thing you've seen today, isn't it? It's just somebody sitting here, holding down left mouse button, and moving his mouse a bit. I mean, that's something that no other video game has. That's definitely not something which is a key element in pretty much every single video game in existence. And what's worst is, it's not even doing something very interesting in this video game. I'm gonna make an escape route now in case I have to use it quickly in the future. Hmm. Bad idea number one. I'm sure I won't get lost in here. Bad idea number two. Eh, that zombie over there doesn't mean that this place is filled with monsters. Bad idea number three. Let's just go deep down. There we go. Darn it. I'm trapped. Or rather I'm not, but I'm at a dead end. My brightness is all the way up, so I'm hoping that you guys can see what's going on here. But you might not be able to, so I should probably explain to you. Oh look, there's one zombie coming to attack me. I'm in a basically a corridor right now. Now I've come back to a place where there's stairs that I made up to daylight there. There's a corridor off that way, that way, 
there's one off that way. I've explored both of those, and there's another one which is pretty much directly continuing down, which I'm following now. Once I finish with this corridor... Uh-oh, three zombies. I'm sure that doesn't mean there's a spawner here or anything. No, that could mean there's a spawner here or anything, right? Actually, if there is one, though, it might be useful for making an XP grinder later, because I'm going to want to get some good enchantments before I face the end of Dragon. Whoa! Light. Whoa. Ever with... Oh, no. Oh. Ha, that's handy. He stepped in the lava over there. There we go. Uh, I know there's probably some good resources down here. I need to come back with torches or something. I can't just explore right now. Ooh, iron. I'll get this iron before I go and that's it. And that's bad idea number four for those of you who are keeping count. Oh god. Oh, scary noises. Oh no, what if it's late? What if I'm going to be coming out to the surface at night with next to no health and no food? I don't have enough food to make it back. I'm going to die in here. I'm going to die down here. I'm not freaking out. Panicking is the worst thing I could do. Panicking is the worst thing I could do, but it comes so naturally to me right now. Yes, yes, panicking is quite natural right now. Actually, I'm not panicking, but I think it makes better video if I do. So let's go ahead and panic because there's a skeleton up there. Okay, now I'm genuinely in quite a bit of trouble. Oh, good. Killed him. I need to eat the rest of my cookies so that I can just regain what dregs of health I can. Why did I jump down here without thinking about how I'd get back up? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Why am I wasting my cobblestone on that? Oh, thank goodness. Light, light. Creepers, creepers! Run for it! Wait! Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! Meld! Meld, 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 meld! through there, I'll ambush him. Ugh! Okay, speed run. I've got to do this really quickly and really skillfully. Alright, ultimate speed. Alright, that was not quickly or skillfully. That was, use up all of your health on nothing at all. Okay, okay. That was quite a lot of my best gear, so... It'll be good if I can get to it, but it'll be horrible if I can't. I'm not going to make negative progress this Let's Play video. <sighs> now, why was that cave? I wasn't keeping track of my path. Here we go. Yeah! Oh. Got my sword, okay. Have I got the iron? No, okay. I need to look for the iron then. Maybe it was higher up? I don't know. You know what I can do without the iron? Let's get out of here. Wait, over here. No, that's just from where the creeper blew up, I think. Or did the creeper blow up, or did I kill... There's the iron. Okay. Okay. Ugh. I've got to get out of here, and I'm so low on health. If night time comes, the skeleton's just gonna shoot me again. And I never did kill that first skeleton, did I? Ah. Get out, get out, William! Run away! Run for your life! Run for that pig which will give you the food you need to maintain your life! Darn it, it didn't give me enough food. Oh well. Now is not a time to be picky. Now is a time to be running. Running very nicely and quickly. Running away very quickly. Almost made it back to safety. Almost made it back. Come on, run, 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 run. 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 Go, go, go! Yay, I made it back. Okay. Here we go. Ah. <sighs> it 
it's nice to be home. <laughs> that gave me an annoying dearth of seeds. death correctly there. Let's go ahead and assume I did. Alright, it's probably too late on in the day for me to try going for that mine again. So, I don't have much time left, so why don't... Uh, I could go for the nearby mine, but I don't know about that. Like that cave down there. I've already kind of explored it. I have torches? I have torches, I just didn't bring them. That was smart of me, going to a cave with no torches. Hmm. You know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm taking limited enough resources that if I don't die, that if I die, it won't be a catastrophe. But I'm going for that cave again. You know the age-old saying: "One more block, just one more block." Right. No, it's getting dark too soon. It'll be pointless if I die trying to run back. So I should use the nearby cave so that I won't have to try and run back. Yep, I just had a creeper. Time to go. Yep, there he is. And a spider. Definitely time to go back to my nice, warm, safe co cozy, not mob infested, not the, uh, this dangerous house. Not time to go back and grab my torches. Just time to run away. Yep, yep, yep. Time to run away and live to fight another day. Well, I mean, this isn't hardcore, so I'd live with it. And I've got pumpkins growing from my ceiling. Admit it, these things look just like tiny pumpkins. Not like Minecraft pumpkins, but real world pumpkins. Um, I'm thinking. I suppose I could, like, end this let's play here or something. But. Uh, you guys won't mind if it goes on for like 10 minutes more. I try to keep my let's plays somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes, so let's shoot for 30 minutes here. Um, now I suppose I could waste the 10 minutes that I just sort of bargained with myself to get on uh, something like mining, but it would be more interesting to head back to that cave there, so I'm going to go ahead and have a nice sleep so that we can change, set the time today. There's the iron sword that I sleep with. Let's put it in the center of the chest. I'm beginning to worry that I'm OCD, but only when I play m computer games. Like, regularly I'm fine, but in computer games, everything has got to be just so. Oh well. Hmm. Nice place. Still, this isn't exactly where I want to spend the rest of my days. I wonder how well equipped I'll be before I'll, before I want to move out. If I move out, I'll probably try and go along that way, because it looks like there's a river there, and I can boat along it. Or I could try and follow that river that way, but I think that river ends. So, for now, though, let's try and get more gear. Definitely going to want at least iron armor before I move out, I think. And for that, I'll need more iron. So let's go ahead and binge some iron on a pickaxe. I 
I've taken my wood also in case I need to make anything. Torches, I'm going to want more torches than that. Let's see how many sticks do I have? I have nine sticks. I'll keep, uh, I need two of those for the pickaxe, so seven of these things. There we go. Hoping that this will be enough torches. Alright. If I'm going to be making myself armor anyways, I might as well not die just yet. Alright. I'm beginning to feel like a real soldier now. Real Minecrafter! Minecraft! I'm wearing iron armor over a business suit. Like a boss. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as you do it like a boss. So let's see. I'm gonna head back there and do more mining. Um, now. Uh... Let's think about sort of what I want to, um, I don't know, almost do. Uh, let's think about my future plans in this Let's Play series. Like, where am I going? What am I going to sort of do, build, make? How do I plan to eventually defeat the Ender Dragon, find a mushroom island, find a village? All the stuff that I said I would do that I might never get around to doing. I'm uh, going to make this thing a bit easier to climb up also, because otherwise I might be dangerously trapped down here. Don't want a repeat of last night. Oh yes, a creeper. That's absolutely spiffy, isn't it? Oh boy. I guess that went okay. There we go. Alright. Oh yes! Because one creeper is definitely not enough. Oh, I should totally try and get that zombie. The guy to shoot that guy and get a music disc from it. It will be so perfect. Oh, please, come on. Yes! 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 Yay! I have a music disc! Or at least I think I did. They didn't change the code for that. No, they didn't. Hey, it's Malohi! Malohi is my favorite music disc! Alright! Maholi, however you pronounce that, I don't even care right now. This is just fantastic. This is far more profitable than I expected mining would be. Just remember, kids, when life gives you a deep, dark, mysterious cave, make records. I'm just going to put this back at home and then head back into the cave. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm heading back. I should have bought food and I didn't. That could have ended in disaster when I starved to death in that cave. Oh, and by the way, for all the people who like Portal out there, I will acknowledge the fact that Cave Johnson is actually right about what, lo what you should do when life gives you lemons. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, um... I'm not sure if it would be copyright infringement or trademark violation or something to say it, so I'm going to go ahead and not say it. Um, I am, however, going to get some nice food. There we go. Cookies. And let's head back into the fray. I like the little bay by the lake there. It's sort of geometrically pleasing. Hmm, more probably aesthetically pleasing, but... Whatever. I pride myself on my excellent vocabulary, but not how well I use it. I'm guessing somebody that's probably a quote from somebody somewhere, but... It's also a quote from me now, because I do... I thought it up on my own. Right. So the torches are more for the viewers to be able to see, and for me to know where I came from, than to actually fully illuminate this place, so... I'm 
not in a position where I want to actually <laughs> fight creatures right now, so. There we go. Oh, come on. There's got to be a spawner down here or something. Is that when playing on hard difficulty and there are no caves nearby? Oh, come on. Oh, for the love of Notch! Oh! Yes, because it would be too much to ask of you to actually die in the creeper explosion. Oh! Criminy! Ever wished you were the Incredible Hulk? Okay, let's just go with dungeon diving is not my thing. My thing is more redstone creations, um, programming, Minecraft animations, not killing things with a sword made out of stone that no reasonable human should be able to lift and swing effectively. Actually, let me think about that. A stone sword, maybe if you made it out of thin enough stone, but you'd have to do a lot of crafting and like shaping to make it nicely made out of thin stone, so... And I'm not about to just let all of my iron armor and stuff despawn, but I'm about to get killed again. Okay. Oh, good notch. Um, you are not watching right now. You are still not watching. You are definitely not seeing this. Yes, you are not seeing this. I am totally not cheating right now. You are not completely disappointed in me for cheating. Um. Hmm. I'm actually thinking about this. I don't want my stuff to just disappear, but I sort of do want this to teach me a lesson. I'm just sort of heading down there to look. I'm not actually going to pick up anything. Hmm, so let's see, did my stuff fall in lava? Huh, it didn't. That's cool. Yes, looks like most of my stuff survived. Still, I'm not going to try and pick it up, because that would definitely be cheating, and cheating is just wrong. I'm not fooling anybody, including myself. Alright. Let's see if I can get out of here. Oh, sweet. Okay, I'm getting out of here while I can. And yeah, I know I cheated a bit back there, but I think slaying the Enderman makes up for it. It shows that I could have fought my way out of there. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I couldn't have. Moot point now, though, because, um... I have. <laughs> slash, I cheated to. And... That's handy. Hmm. Nice. Little cave area. I might as well grab these be quickly before it turns to night. Just gotta make sure that it doesn't turn to night while I'm mining. I should put up a torch so that you guys can see. Well, there's more coal here than I expected. That's nice. There we go. Time to get out before it turns to night. Okay. Ooh, excellent. Hmm. 
Well, looks like I made it back here without confronting any monsters. Which is kind of strange, given how many flippin' monsters there were in the cave. Oh well, I guess I shouldn't complain about making it back here safely. I should just store my stuff, collect my wheat, and live to fight another day. My farm is growing nicely now. Kind of like my popularity. Speaking of my popularity, um, a quickly rising new video of mine that a whole bunch of people are watching, um, you should probably watch too. It's about how I describe, it's about me and, um, of course, something that I'm describing, and what I'm describing in the video is how you can use the new command block minecarts in the most recent snapshot, 13w39, to uh, create moving buildings in Minecraft, and of course, uh, and also infinitely replicating buildings, and um, infinitely replicating buildings, and uh, infinite roads, that's it. Um, and there's no strings attached, obviously you need to be using the command block minecart, so you can't do it in survival, uh, um, but, but you can uh, sort of um, you have to use command block minecart so you can't do it in survival, but you can do it with any building, uh, anywhere, and uh, it can be. Uh, I don't really know what I wanted to say that it can be. It can be any building, anywhere, and no mods required. So you should really go check out that video because it's pretty cool. Um, and then other things that you should check out, Nerf Mods by Kronos, uh, he, um, well, he does Nerf Mods, the name is stunningly deceptive. Um, I've also made some videos with him, but he hasn't really put those videos up on his channel, so uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and just put those videos, I've already put those videos up on my channel. Not sure if he's ever going to put them up on his, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, and then you should also check out Dark Water Projects. I've made some videos with him, which he has put up on his channel. Um, and he also makes some very cool redstone stuff. Uh, and he did make some helpful videos about uh, other things to do with Minecraft. Like, he's got a nice video on how you can very easily install mods with the Magic Launcher. And he's also got, uh, like, by very easily, I mean, like, downloading one thing clicking on her, not even having to like move files or anything, just download something from this page and then download the mods and select which of the mods you want to be active and there's nothing like seeing a creeper right next to you to give you a heart attack, is there? Um, yeah, he's got some very nice videos like that. Uh, and then he's also got um, It's just so nice, I can't wait to get a Diamond, so they can make a jukebox for that. He's also got redstone videos and a couple videos with me. I think it's only one, the Hearth Server Tour. But you should go check out that. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I can't really think of anything else that I need to say here. So, obligatory goodbye message.